Today, we'll look at creating a vector logo from a picture. In Drawplus, a great way of doing this is in the Auto Trace Studio. Here, objects in a picture are traced, which produces a great looking vector image that's perfect for logos. First, you'll need to import your picture by clicking the Insert Picture button on the drawing toolbar. Navigate to your pictures, select the one you want to use, and click Open. Then, you can click and drag on the page to size your picture. To open Auto Trace Studio, ensure your picture is selected, and then click the Studio's icon on the Context toolbar. If I click this drop down arrow, you can see there are three options Black and White Image Trace, Logo Image Trace, and Photo Image Trace. Today, I'll choose Photo Image Trace and I'll click on this option to open my picture in the studio. On the left is the How To pane. Here, you'll find lots of useful information all about auto tracing, which will help you when exploring the various options and settings. For now, I'll hide the pane to give us a little more room. Now, I'll zoom into the picture using the Zoom tool. A preview of the traced picture is displayed on the right, which gives us a better idea of what it will look like. On the right hand side of the studio, you'll also find several different controls. These can be used to control what the finished trace will look like. The smoothing filter smooths the image by reducing the number of colours. It's useful for smoothing out the appearance of a traced picture. Flatten can be used to produce larger curve areas in the picture by removing detail and blending nearby areas together. The curve smoothing filter can be used on images that contain intricate detail which you don't want to include in the final picture. There are lots of different settings, so the best thing to do is experiment and see what works best for your picture. OK, let's click Trace. This first trace is quite good, but I think it could be improved. To compare the traced image to the original, click one of the view buttons at the top of the studio. When I tweak the settings, the preview updates accordingly, and we can compare this to the original image and first trace to see how it's changed. Now, I'll trace the picture again. If you want to make further adjustments to the image, click the Adjust button and you can experiment with the Merge, Fill and Node tools. I'm happy with the traced picture, so I'll just click Accept. The finished traced picture now appears in the workspace. If I click Ungroup, you'll see that the object is made up of lots of different shapes. If you want to delete the background of an image, you can do this now. I'll zoom in to see the logo more clearly. As it's made up of vector shapes, it can be edited as normal. You could adjust the colour or tweak the nodes if required. When you've finished making changes, remember to regroup the logo so you can manage it more easily. To complete my design, I'll just add some leaves from the Seasons category in the Gallery tab. I'll group the design again so that all of the components are included. Now we can have a vector logo that can be resized to any size and retain its original quality. To prove this, I'll zoom right into the logo. You can see that the lines are still sharp at any size. When exporting your logo, remember that you need to choose the dimensions that will best suit your publication. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed exploring the Auto Trace Studio and seeing how easy it is to trace your designs and create great looking logos in just a few clicks. For more information, see the Help, the How To tab, or the other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.